General and South Boston. Fixed to pull up here to the ramp, to the door, and then I'm fixed to go in. And then I guess I'm going home after this. It's about 320 miles to the house. Let's see what the GPS says it is. Bear to go home. He's driving to the highway to the 320 miles, yep, I was right. <laughs> So it's pouring down raining. I've done been to the guard shack back there three times after that truck in front of me pulled out. I gave them the bill of lading. They said I'm not in the system. I called the broker. They gave me a confirmation number. Went back there, gave them that. They said that's not in the system. So now I don't know what to do. I'm sitting here at the truck stop, eight o'clock in the morning with a stupid load that ain't paying nothing to begin with. Again, the box warehouses. People say, I say people, I got a couple of friends that I talk to and I always complain about the dry van, box warehouses, and they go, I don't know why you have such a problem. I never have those problems. I say, I call bull crap. Because every time, I don't matter whether I'm TQL, Landstar, I go to these darn box warehouses and look at it. I'm gonna show you here. This is what it is, it is pouring down raining. You see the water maybe just running off the windshield here. But it just goes all the way out. I mean, they don't give a crap about one trailer. They've got trucks. They've got trailers from one end of the place all the way to the other end. The building tees off way down there at the end. Look at that. At the other end, it tees off way down there and it goes that way. They've got a lot over here that's just full of trailers all the way down here with yard dogs picking them up and dropping them off the trailers. So they don't give a crap about one little truck. They don't care about one little load of barbecue sauce. And so right now, I'm at the whim of the broker to get me my load in here. You know, and I'm already on time. I got here like 40 minutes early. They won't take you early. Don't be late, because then you'll have to reschedule. And I don't know, I don't know what to do now. This is another thing here that just wastes my time. Why I don't do box warehouses. Anybody wanna buy a step deck, not a step deck, a dry van trailer is for sale. Well, I had to leave the customer and come back over here to the truck stop. I've been sitting here since 10 o'clock showed up for my appointment at 8 or like 7 15 is when i showed up i think i got back over here about 10 it's already 1 30 in the afternoon the broker contacted me back and said that uh they'll unload me tomorrow morning now at 5 a.m they gave me another 250 dollars for today for the layover i just don't understand how this stuff happens so regular in the drive-in division. This is the way truckers get treated. And it doesn't matter whether you're an owner operator or a company driver. If you're a company driver, it's sort of the same way. They give you like maybe $150 a day, which is where I think that term comes from. They want to pay owner operators $150 a day layover. I got $250 for this one, and I'm not happy about that. I was just talking to a buddy of mine. I told him, I said, man, it should be at least minimal of 650 bucks. And the reason I come to $650 is because if you take my cost of operation for 13 years, all 13 years from the state, 
and look at every dime that I've spent. In fact, I've got it right here. Let me show you. So, okay, stats from 2013 to 23. My total expenses has been 1,569,000 and some change. But let's just go with that number right there. My fuel cost was just a tad under 600,000. So if you take the fuel cost out, it comes to 971,000. And if you take that total cost of operation and divide that by the number of years, it comes to about $156,000 a year. You take that yearly, that's the boat, that's what we've come down to. So we've taken the gross and it's come down to 156,000 is what my average cost is a year. That's everything, fuel and everything. Now without the fuel, my total cost of, per year on average is 97,120, which is $404 a day. That's my break even. So now you're adding a day of operations on the road where I'm not earning but it's costing me on average $404. So it so what I've done is I've taken that 97,000 divide that by about 250 operational days. That's where people make mistakes at. They go, "Oh, well you got 365 days in a year." But those aren't operational days. You look at the number of days you're working. You can't count because the days you're home you're not spending money. The days that you're and people will want to say, well, you're not making any, you're not spending any money. So the $250 should be plenty. Yeah, if you're just going to pay me, let's look at it that way. If I was making $25 an hour for my truck, it's a weekend. So that ought to be time and a half. I've already put in 40 hours this week already. So that should be $37.50. Let's just go with that number. $37.50 times 8 equals 37.5 times 8. We're at $300 right there. So give me 300 bucks, all based off that theory. I got 250, I don't know. I guess the thing is, is are we supposed to be happy with this norm out here? Yeah, I'd be happy if I didn't have any other expenses. Give me the 350 bucks, I'd be sort of happy with that. That's 300 dimes a day. I say 300 equals 300 times five. That's 1,500 a week. That's a good, decent salary for being on the road. I mean, we're working hard out here every week. Anyway, I'll be quiet. I'll quit. I'm out of here.